everybody, Jen here. I don't know if you can even see the sign because my head's in the way. I don't know if you guys know where this is, but I am currently, oh, I don't think I can film that, in the Orlando International Airport. So I had to take Sarah back and I thought, you know what? It's early enough. I'm going to park and go in and I'm going to film the Disney stores and the Universal store and the SeaWorld store. So let's go. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video. If you need a stroller rental while you're here in Orlando, got a great offer for you at the end of the video. So unfortunately I am not filming the SeaWorld store because it is currently closed, but Disney and Universal are open and both of them are. So let's go film those. I love these stores because they're nice and wide open and so easy to see. And they're, and I actually like how they redid it. It's a lot brighter and cleaner looking. And I love the Mickey and the floor. So I'm walking in from like the TSA pre-check side because there's an entrance on each side of the store. And this one has a little like Pixar section and then a Mandalorian specific section. And they have a really good selection of stuff. So they have the t-shirt, they have the spirit jersey, they have the mini Grogu lounge fly wristlet. They also have the Star Wars lounge fly backpack. And like the little pullback racer lounge fly. Um, that's not a lounge fly. That's just a toy. They have a character clip, which this is like, um, what are they called? I don't remember what they're, excuse me, what they're called. But I have the figment one of him. They have a couple of the retro Mandalorian toys. They have Kuwil. And then they have Grief Karga. They also have the Grogu winter beanie cap and the Grogu headband. And it's interesting because he's still $29.99, the full ear price, but the stitch one and the Dalmatian one are only $24.99. They have a small Marvel section where they have the Groot shoulder sitter. They have the Marvel t-shirt. Then they have like the Funko Pop style um, Marvel Lounge Fly with all the characters. I think this is just a, this is just, um, what is this movie called? Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Lounge Fly. They have a really good up selection. They have the, uh, the Kevin Lounge Fly. They have the new throw blanket. I love the kids shirt. This is cool. It looks like the Wilderness Explorer outfit with all the patches for $24.99. They have the ladies t-shirt for $36.99. Now mind you, this is pretty see-through. I'm getting a text, but um, it's still a nice shirt. I love this Pixar shirt. It's so like wild, like it's so bright and kind of obnoxious. And I think that's what I like about it for $59.99. They have a bunch of just the little Pixar toys. Does look like the only Pixar spirit jersey they have is the newest Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond, the $70 spirit jersey. They have the Andy on RC pullback racer and they do have the brand new um, Slinky Dog Ears. Again, not crazy about these ones. And it looks like for the talking characters, the interactive, they only have Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. But I haven't seen these before. These are just like a hard plastic character. They have Buzz and Andy for nine. Oh no, that's Woody, not Andy. What is wrong with me today? For $9.99. Just kidding. They also have the talking Porky. I love this bullseye. 
That's amazing. He's $26.99. A very small selection of wishables. The only blind bag they have is the Incredibles, and they literally only have three left. They have the Small World, the Main Street Rides, the Incredibles, and just Mickey in the blind in the um, Chasers. It cracks me up that they went up like four bucks. They were $9.99, now they're $12.99. <laughs> So they have a small, oh, I like this one. I've never seen this puzzle. It says play in the park, Walt Disney World. That's cool, it's a 1,000 piece puzzle. I love that. Oh my God, I want this for $24.99. They also have some of like the remote control and die cast vehicles <clears throat> for kids to play with. And then they just have a couple of games. They have the Hollywood Tower Hotel Jenga. Disney Parks Candyland, the Small World Game, Disney Villains Clue, which I want that one, and Disney Parks Perfection. They have a really good selection of all the PVC characters. Um, they have Star Wars. They have a couple different Star Wars set, an Avengers set, an original Star Wars set, Coco, Finding Nemo, Toy Story, and then just Mickey and Friends. I'd love to tell you how much these are, but all of the tags are blank. I think they are either $15.99 or $17.99 a piece, but don't quote me on that. I could be very wrong. A bunch more in the princess section. They have Snow White, they have Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. They have the Lilo and Stitch one with the Stitch and Oz costumes. They have the Animators Kids Princesses, Adult Princesses. They have a Moana, and that's it. They have several of the Disney Princess Babies. They're $34.99 each. They have Rose, well, she was Rose Red there, or Aurora, Belle, um, Ariel, and Rapunzel. They also have a pretty good selection of pins here. They have like the new Marvel ones. They have a lot of the new pins, like the new big ones. I'm really impressed with their pin collection. <gasps> I haven't seen this Mickey. Oh my gosh, can you see the design on him? That's so cool. Silver's $9.99. I love these. They also have the birthday pin. They only have the fantasy, the, the fanny packs and the Marvel characters, but they have a ton of the Chinese New Year's. Oh, still haven't gotten that stitch. So they only have a small selection of girls clothes. I mean, they literally only have like three shirts to choose from and one spirit jersey. They do have all the princess dolls. And this is a cute little girl's princess wallet. This I haven't seen before. It's $14.99. It has like a little change purse and money bag and then card holder. Very cute. I like this. This is a Frozen 2. It's a four piece paint your own canvas set. Comes with the brushes, the paints, and the canvases. I love that. No, wait, how much is this? Oh, wow, that's only $19.99. That's perfect for a gift if you have room in your bags for it. This is cute, too. This is an art set. Comes with a little, like, markers, colored pencils. Oh, I'm struggling with one hand here, guys. <clears throat> so it comes with colored pencils, a glue stick, a pencil, regular pencils, pen, sharpeners, erasers, flip it, markers, and just a little drawing pad and a pair of scissors. And for all of this, it's $24.99. I really just like it. I love the design of the princesses. They have a bunch of plushies. I love the Stitch Baby. So cute. Um, bunch of the sleepers, some of the big feet. Awesome. They just have a small selection of coffee cups. Not a lot, but enough where if you forget to get something, like you can stop here um, at the end. Now I am here at the one in B terminal and this is the bigger of the two. I'm parked at A terminal, so I will stop in that one on my way out as well. They also have this massive video screen that actually advertises like everything there is to do at Disney, all the different parks. So it's pretty cool. And if you're looking for something small, they have a whole rack of just magnets and the new keychains. So they have some of the new keychains. <gasps> I haven't seen this one. Oh my gosh. Mickey and Minnie kissing on the teacups. Teacups, how cute is that? And hold on, red is $9.99. Oh, and then these are the germ keys. They have a whole bunch of them here. That one's pretty, let's see. The open one is teal. Are they all teal? 
No, they're teal and violet. And teal's $14.99. I don't know what violet is. I'm assuming it's probably $14.99 too. They have a whole bunch of magnets. Oh, I love that one. The old sign when you came in. It's interesting that they haven't updated it to the new one yet. So then these are a fun new thing. So these are like charms. So like you could unhook these from here and hook them on different zippers and bags. And you get one, two, three, four, five, like six charms per keychain for $9.99. They have a small selection of the mousewares. Housewares and stuff. They have the new. I really, really like these cutting boards. I want them because it's four cutting boards and I love that it's a holder so you can keep it out. Like mine are in a cabinet and it's a pain in the butt to get to them. And these are super easy to just pull the tab to grab them. One thing they do not have a lot of is ears. They only have a couple ears. They have that purple one with that weird bow. They have a bunch of lounge flies. They have the new Pirates of the Caribbean, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Forest Friends. Well, I guess out of the other two I showed, that's all the lounge flies they have. But they also have the new flare bags that I just showed in the last video that finally came to Disney from the Disney store. They have one of the differently abled ears in rose gold. And then they have the, oh, these are on here backwards. It's so, like they put the rack on backwards. These are the Cinderella Castle ears. Then of course they have a whole display of the 2021 stuff including the ears and all the different clothes and hats for all the different ages. And they have a small selection of men's t-shirts. They have the t-shirt I'm actually wearing right now, plus the matching hoodie. Hello! I love the little kid ears. I can't wait until my brother and, his, and my sister-in-law take Jane, are ready to take Janie for the first time so I can like get her ears and have them engraved and have them ready for her before she even comes. They don't engrave them, they embroider them. Words are hard today, guys. And in case you forgot your snacks, they have a small selection of the Goofy's Candy Company and the Mickey snacks. They even have some of the different Pez dispensers here as well. And just in case you need more room, they do have a bunch of um, different like carry-on bags and even some luggage here in case you need it. So they actually have some of the um, Make-A-Wish line still here. I don't really see this anywhere now. So they have the differently abled ears, the Walt Disney World spirit jersey, the kids spirit jersey, and the t-shirt still here. And they have two of the hat. So the really cool thing is you can literally walk out of the magic of Disney and walk right into the Universal Orlando Resort store. And they still have their really cool exterior. So this is a really fun photo spot with the kids when you first, when you're getting ready to leave. And as a Harry Potter nerd, I'm obviously entering the Potter section first. And it has been a hot minute since I've been to Universal. So I already see merch I've never seen before. And oh my gosh, I am all for these insulated tumblers. $27. And they have a sippy lid. <gasps> I love this Gryffindor one. Oh, this one's different. That's wild. Okay, so Slytherin, Sly, Slytherin, wow. Slytherin and Hufflepuff have the sippy lids and Ravenclaw and Gryffindor have the just drink lids. That's weird. But they have tons of house merches. They have other mugs there. They have the hats. They actually have a couple different kinds of house hats. They have the Quidditch shirts. They have all four teams. They have all four houses. Oh, this is a Quidditch shirt too. These ones are plain on the back. And they are $34.95 each. Oh, they didn't have these when I worked there. Or they literally always would have had these in my hair. But they also have the robes, just in case you forget to get them in the park. Ooh, they don't have prices. Oh, there you go. $139 plus tax. But these are like well made. These will never wear out. I mean, they'll last forever. Wow, these house pillows are awesome as well. I love that. And I can't see the price. Hold on. They are $35. And it's always interesting to check the merch. Because you'll notice there will always be more Gryffindor and Slytherins and less Hufflepuff and Ravenclaws. And I feel like the majority of people sorted are sorted into the two houses that they make no merch for. I've noticed. 
But regardless of how you wear your hair, you can pretty much get whatever you need. So you got the scrunchies. Kay has the Slytherin headband. They have the ties. They have the, the thigh high socks. They even have the winter gear. And for those of you that like your coffee, they have the coffee mugs. They actually do not have Slytherin. They own, I guess Slytherins don't drink coffee. But, um, oh, this is interesting. The hats, they don't have Slytherin either. They only have Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. So either Slytherin's just that popular, or it's so unpopular they stopped making it. Weird. But I can't remember if I said it's $18.95 for the um, coffee mugs. They also have a whole section of jewelry. I like these. It's just the colors, and then there's a charm of the, um, the house creature. So like the eagle, the badger, the snake, and the lion. They have all the different necklaces, the chokers, the different earrings. I love this. Oh, I like this one. That's cool. They have a bunch of the magical creatures plushies here. And they even have some of the Deathly Hallows merch. I love the shape of this shirt for $37. And it's a nice, like, it's not see-through, but it's a nice, very thin, light, perfect to go with, like, leggings. And of course my heart. They have the Hogwarts Express March here too. This is the kids t-shirt. They have the adults t-shirts. What is this? They now have spirit jerseys for the houses. <gasps> oh, I need a Gryffindor one. Like, I have to own that. So they're 65 so they are a little bit cheaper than the ones at Disney. Oh my god, I love that. I love the crest with the the creature, like with the Gryffindor lion, let's see, the Ravenclaw eagle, although I think that's a raven, so that's wrong. Here is the Slytherin one, man, Kay is gonna want that. And then the Hufflepuff badger. My god, I love these so much. They have just a small selection of Marauders stuff. And then you'll notice as you enter into the main store where the rest of the Universal merch is, it actually, like, the colors and the store itself completely changes. They have a huge amount of pins. Like, this is crazy how many pins they have here. Oh, I love this five set. That's really cool. The whole SpongeBob set for $15. I love that. Then they have keychains. They have the lanyards. And then they have all the Harry Potter stuff. I love, now in the parks they have all four houses. I love these ties, I think they're hysterical. Oh, this is interesting. These are different, these must be a newer generation of pins because they're on a different backer. I didn't even notice these blue ones, I love that. This is a newer one because the Hogwarts alumni set came out I think last year. Does this open? Oh, it does. That's cool. That's 15. These are nine. I love that. Then they have just the general Universal Studios themed merchandise. It's interesting because this was almost Kay's exact name. And then we decided on Kirsten Lee splitting it into two names. But had that been her name, I could have found her named merch. But sorry, we didn't. Oh, how cute is this Lisa outfit? <gasps> I might have to come back and get one of these for Janie. It's only $24.95 and it's so adorable. And then here is Lee's favorite line, the duff line. That's the shirt he needs for sure. But like these have shirts inside of them, these cans. They have a duff can't bottle koozie. That's amazing. Then they have the things, the cat in the hat merchandise. I love these little plushies. I think they are the absolute most adorable designed plushies ever. They're $16.95, so they're not that expensive. They don't take up a ton of room, and they're just so cute. And then they have the actual thing shirts to get the whole family into it. Then we head into the Minions merch. That is literally me in the morning. And I love, I just love all of it. I love like the Minion stuff because it's so bright and vibrant. These crack me up because these are made by Modari. And years ago, I brought Jeremy a couple of the Modari car sets and he like loved them. 
and I'd never seen them anywhere but the small town in Oregon where I like this random shop we found the Midori cars are and now they actually have like legitimate Fast and the Furious themed Midori build sets and these are $32.95 but these are like all like die cast metal these are worth $32.95 they last oh this is cool these are called grab and go games so these are like mini versions of the big games that fold up they're travel games i haven't seen travel games in forever they are so cheap nine they're only 10 bucks they have battleship trouble oh my god i love trouble connect four i love connect four they even have mini jenga that's hysterical oh my gosh same 10 bucks this is interesting. This is a set of Transformers characters. So you get all of the characters on the front. You get Megatron, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, and a Nest Sentry. Because this is based off the ride. These are not... These are made by Creo. They're not Legos. So they're $22. And then you will find Marvel merch here. Because Disney and Universal actually share Marvel. So you will see some crossover merchandise. Where they have a lot of Captain America stuff, Spider-Man, they have some Avengers merch. And I feel like some of the shirts may even be the same shirts in both parks. Because I feel like that shirt is available on Disney, but I could be wrong. And I know these shirts, or a very similar one, are also available on Disney. They have a small Jurassic World and Jurassic Park section. Oh, this is cool. It's a Mr. Dan. Oh, wow, this is really nice. This is not a Turvis but it is a really nice insulated um, drink cup for $25. And it even comes with the straw. And I love the Mr. DNA coffee mug. It says Jurassic World for $15. I love the colors of him. Why do they not have Mr. DNA more merch? Because I would wear a Mr. DNA shirt. I mean, clearly I wear the Walt Disney World shirt with the same, the same um, reflective material. This is a cool, this says Tycanosaurus Rex from Isla Nubar, and it's made to be ripped like he's coming at you. And it's one of those over the shoulder bags for $50. And it's actual dunger, it's like a dungaree canvas almost. This is really cool. They have a Jurassic Park chess set, it's $60. But look at the dinosaurs, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. I can't tell if it's die cast or not, I'm not sure. Oh, it's from the Noble Collection, so it must be. And then, of course, they have a Lhasa Coaster merch, because that's the coaster that just opened last month. They have the coffee mug for 15 The kids' t-shirt is 28 The adults' t-shirt is 30 It is very see-through. Like, I can see my skin very easily. They have the shot glass for Velocicoaster, what could go wrong? I love that for nine. Now this is cool because this here is a color changing um, coffee mug. Let's see if I can find the, the So it starts off black till you put the hot liquid in it and then it has the Jurassic Park logo. That is really cool for $19. And this thing is heavy. They also have like the unisex tea must go faster for Velocicoaster for 25. And then they have the tank top for the coaster for 27. No, I missed it. I was totally gonna show you the A Terminals High Disney Store too, but I missed it by like two minutes. So another day. I mean, it's basically, it literally looks like it has all the same merch. Oh no, it has different merch. Oh, another day. Ah, but the A Terminal A Universal Store is still opening. So I'll do, I mean, it's literally all the same merch. This is a smaller store. So you walk in on the left is the Harry Potter merch. And then you loop around. I mean, other than it being a little bit smaller, it's basically all of the same merchandise. So it's not like you're really missing out on anything. Like they have slightly different t-shirts here. And again, some of these are the same ones you can get at Disney, which is really funny. But um, other than that, it's six one way, half dozen the other, depending on which terminal you're in. Although this is really cool. In A Terminal, this is a really good photo spot with the Raptor enclosure. I love this. And that's it. Now I just make my way back to my car. And the long, 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 yes.
slow escalator down. But one thing, is this where? So then I'm gonna take a bunch of escalators down. Because from parking, you can go all the way up. But leaving, it makes you do all the different spots. But I just wanna see the Magical Express sign since I won't be able to see it for too much longer. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, I literally can't see the Magical Express sign. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Going down again. So the Metro Express is out there somewhere. Oh, you know why? I'm in Terminal A. Metro Express is Terminal B. You know why I'm not seeing the Metro Express lines? Because it's the wrong terminal. Metro Express is in Terminal B and I parked in Terminal A. Dudgeon. But this is also the slowest people mover on the planet. But I feel like I'm just walking extra fast but I'm really not walking much faster than if I was just walking on the pavement. I love that they label it by acts, by animals. So there's pig, bear, raccoon, or turtle. And I am in the bear parking lot. Well, I was gonna say, and there's bears everywhere, but there's literally not a bear once you get off the elevator. So never mind. Now I need my phone because I don't remember where I parked. Aha, there's the bears. There's the happy little bears on the signs for each row. Now my car is somewhere. Oh wait, I see my car and I'm home again. Um, I was tired and just got in my car. Was supposed to film an outro from inside the car and then drove home. So yeah, so here we are um, back at home. Sorry, working on the computer so that's what the glare is. If you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification Ow. bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys! Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.